Hey everybody, today it's round two of the 2024 recent president spinner battle. Last time, spoiler, we lost number five, Jimmy Carter. His number just never came up. So Carter is out, everybody above him goes down one number. So we're down to 11. So I appreciate all the comments and everybody that gets just a little bit of entertainment out of this. So I try to keep the other colors the same. And I think we're ready for round two. Hopefully you made one or two picks at the beginning. Hopefully they go really far. And I get it, there's always going to be one or two people that think this is just too silly but this does take some effort to put together it's a once a week distraction so let's get on to round two we're gonna do the map the same and we start in alaska here comes the first spin three electoral votes and we've got number 10 at this time that is donald trump trump first one in round two let's do hawaii four votes that's a four gerald ford he's picking those up let's go to the northwest let's do washington 12 votes. Number seven, Bill Clinton. Next, it's Oregon. Eight votes. Let's give those to number two. That's going to be Lyndon Johnson. Next, it's California. Let's give out these 54 electoral votes. And that's a six. Let's go to George H.W. Bush. That probably means a Bush going on to round three. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to Nevada. Six more votes. Number seven, BC, Bill Clinton, snagging those six. Idaho is next. Four EVs. Number three, Richard Nixon. Next to Utah, we've got six. Who's gonna get them? Number four, GF, Gerald Ford. Let's go to the Grand Canyon State, Arizona. 11 votes at stake. And those are going to go in the Barack Obama column. He's number nine. Let's go to Montana. Four votes. It's not a ton, but every little bit helps. And that's number four, Gerald Ford. Next, Wyoming. Three votes. Number 11, Joe Biden with his first state. Next, Colorado. Ten more votes. And that's a four. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but that's already number four for number four Ford. Next, it's New Mexico. They've got five electoral votes. And that's 11. Joe Biden getting his second state. North Dakota is next. Three votes. Number 11, Biden. Two for two. Let's do South Dakota. Another three votes. And how about that? Three straight for Joe Biden. He's got both Dakotas and New Mexico. Those three are good enough for 11 electoral votes. Let's do Nebraska at large. Can Biden go four in a row? That would be impressive. Close to the line, number nine. Obama picking up those two. Nebraska's first. One vote here. And that is number seven. It's going to Bill Clinton. Nebraska's second. Another one coming to number four, Gerald Ford. Last vote for Nebraska. It's the third congressional district. Who's going to get it? Number seven, Bill Clinton. Now we move on to Kansas. Let's give out six EVs. Let's give them to number 11, Joe Biden. Biden catching some fire here. Let's do Oklahoma. Lucky seven. Who wants them? Eight. George W. Bush with his first state. Next, it's Texas. This would be the home state for Johnson and both Bushes. Plus a mountain of votes here. There's 40. Let's give them out. Here's the spin on the line for number four. Gerald Ford picking up 40. Let's go to Minnesota. We've got 10 more votes. That's number eight. George W. Bush. Next, Iowa. Six votes. Number seven, Bill Clinton. Clinton with another six. Let's do Missouri. The show me state with 10 electoral votes. That's number 10. That's going to Donald Trump. Next, Arkansas. Here's Bill Clinton's home state. Can he win it? No. Donald Trump going back to back. Next, Louisiana. We've got eight votes. And number three, we've got Richard Nixon getting over double digits. 
So far, the only ones without any electoral votes are John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan. Kennedy did so well last time, but this time he's been quiet. Now let's cross the Mississippi River. Let's go north to the Badger State, Wisconsin. Here's the spin. Who's going to get him? That's 10. That's DT, Donald Trump. He's going at 3 out of 4. Let's go to Illinois. Here's Obama's home state. 19 votes. That's a lot. Number 10. Another one for Donald Trump. He goes 4 out of 5. That's impressive with 11 candidates. 15 votes awaits in Michigan. Gerald Ford's home state. Number 8. George W. Bush claiming those. Let's go to Indiana. Let's do 11 votes. Let's give them out. Number 4. Gerald Ford putting those in his column. Let's do Kentucky. 8 votes. Number three, Richard Nixon claiming those. Tennessee's next. They've got 11 votes at stake. And there's number one. That's JFK Kennedy with his first state. So now Reagan, number five again. No electoral votes just yet. It's a crowded field. Sometimes you don't see your number for a while. Let's go to the next spin. It's the Magnolia State. It's Mississippi. They've got six EVs. And that is number six George H.W. Bush. The next state, it's Alabama. We've got nine here. Who wants them? Number six, George H.W. Bush again. Next, let's get some sunshine. Let's go down to Florida. There's 30 votes sitting here waiting to be grabbed. And let's give those to number seven, Bill Clinton. Let's keep it moving. Let's do Georgia. 16 votes. Number six. Another one for George Herbert Walker Bush. Next, South Carolina. Nine votes. We've got number five. There is one for Ronald Reagan. He's got his first state, and he's not on the bottom anymore. That honor goes to Lyndon Johnson, who has one fewer vote than Reagan. Let's go to the Tar Heel State. Let's do North Carolina. We've got 16 here. That's a decent amount of votes. Come to number seven, Bill Clinton. Next, we go to Ohio. That has 17 votes. Who wants them? Number five, Reagan. He took a while to get going, but now he has his second state and a decent cushion. Let's go to West Virginia. Four more votes here. Number seven, Bill Clinton. Picking that up. Now we go to the northeast corner. We go to Maine at large. We've got two votes. Let's give them out to number one, John F. Kennedy. Maine's first. One vote in Maine. Coming to number three. Richard Nixon. Next, Maine's second. Last vote for Maine. Coming to number one. It's going back to Kennedy. Next state, New Hampshire. Four votes. Here's the spin. Number five, Reagan. He's got his third state. He's at 30. Let's do Vermont. We've got three more votes. And that is a four. Gerald Ford claiming that. The next state, it's New York. Right now, first place is George H.W. Bush. He's going to be moving on. But Ford and Clinton are right behind him. All the way at the bottom, we've got Lyndon Johnson. He has eight electoral votes. Second from the bottom, it's Barack Obama. So those are the numbers to watch, number two and number nine. So we've got a ton of votes in this spin. 28. Here it is. For the Empire State. That's a six. That's going to George H.W. Bush. He's over 100 now. Next, it's Kennedy's home state of Massachusetts. 11 votes. Here's the spin. Who's going to get him? That's a three. It's going to R.N. Richard Nixon. Next, Connecticut. They've got another lucky seven. And that's a four. Gerald Ford claiming those. Rhode Island is next. Four votes in the ocean state. Coming to number eight. George W. Bush. We're still watching number two and number nine. Let's go on to New Jersey. Here's the spin for 14 electoral votes. That's a 10. That's going to Donald Trump. Next, it's Delaware. Here comes three electoral votes. Biden's home state. Number six, George H.W. Bush picking up another three. Next, it's Maryland. We've got 10 votes here. Let's give those to number seven. That is Bill Clinton, padding his total by another 10. Next, it's Washington, D.C. Let's do it.
here it is. Number 10, Donald Trump picking up D.C. He saw Biden do it in round one. He decides he's going to do it in round two. So we've got two spins left. We've got Pennsylvania. We've got Virginia. It's either going to be Johnson or Obama going out in round two. Johnson has to win one of these two spins. So he's looking for a two. Let's see what the spinner has in store. Here it is. That's not a two. That's an eight. George W. Bush picking that up. Last spin. It's Virginia. If it's not a two, we're going to say goodbye to LBJ. If it is a two, Obama going home. 13 votes at stake. Here's the final spin in round two. And that is a number two. That is unbelievable. Lyndon Johnson on the final spin claims Virginia. That gives him another 13. And that puts him ahead of Barack Obama. Wow, what a remarkable finish. Johnson at the very end. A 1 in 11 chance puts up his number. So just like that, we're losing a big name. Obama going out in round two. I guess they're all big names, but I'm surprised to see Barack heading for the exit so early. Maybe that means Johnson is going to go all the way. Maybe he goes out in the next round. Who knows? We've got our first upset. But in first place is George H.W. Bush with 116. And we've got another tie for second place between Gerald Ford and Bill Clinton with 86. Biden is third from the bottom this time with 20. Kennedy he had a bad night this time. He's second from the bottom with 14. Obama gets 13. Johnson on the final spin goes from last to four from the bottom. It's a complete upset for Obama. But that's what happens sometimes. The spinner is completely unpredictable. We're only two rounds in and it's already heating up. So I've got to leave it there. Let me know in the comments. Are you sad to see Obama hit the showers so soon? What do you think about this map? Who's your pick to go all the way? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.